What is up, Coradix? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet. And I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in my next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Enus Cognoscenti, the regular one. Now, I did customize the 55 variant about 8 months ago. However, a lot of you guys wanted to see me customize the regular one as well, which essentially has a longer wheelbase and is a bit slower than the 55 variant. Now, yes, I know these few remaining vehicles that I'm customizing aren't the most exciting, but as I've stated before, my goal is to customize slash review every car in the game, and we're getting really close to doing so, and obviously these last few cars aren't going to be, you know, the most exciting vehicles, but they're still pretty interesting. And to mention, as most of you already know, Rockstar has removed this car and a ton of OG and older DLC cars from the websites, totaling almost 200. But thankfully, a lot of my friends own most of those remaining cars we haven't done yet, so I will be finishing this series by buying these cars off of them at the LS Car Meet. But anyways, this vehicle released in December of 2015 with the Executives and Other Criminals update and used to be available from Legendary Motorsport website for 254000 or 558000 for the Armored variant. However, as I stated, this was unfortunately one of the removed cars from Legendary Motorsport website, so you can't buy it anymore. The only way you can acquire it is by using other methods, which I made a dedicated video on, which I'll leave linked down below in the pinned comment. Now, the Cognoscenti name was first introduced in GTA 4 and was also featured in Chinatown Wars as well. And of course, the one from GTA 4 is almost identical to the one we have in GTA 5. Continuing to performance, this vehicle is in the sedans class and is one of the slower ones in that class. The shorter wheelbase 55 variant is a bit quicker being around mid-pack in that class, but either way, these two are still pretty slow. They're not going to be winning you any sedan races anyways. It's more of just a luxury car that's for cruising and stuff like that. Now, in terms of what the Cognoscenti is based on, it's primarily based on the first-gen Bentley Continental Flying Spur with some styling cues from the Maybach 62 as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Cognoscenti. All right, Cognoscenti, the regular one. All right, armor, brakes, engine, uh, lights, some xenons, plates. I already got my luxury plate on there. Um, I guess we'll just give it a black background. Respray. Um, so for this, uh, this car does have a secondary color. So it's this, this, um, this section you see here, the hood, um, roof, trunk, and all that. Very cool, love that there. Um, so I think I definitely want to do a contrast to that. So I think let's let's throw our secondary on here first. Um, I'm thinking of doing like a nice dark blue. I think the the dark blue might be too bright when I have to, when I have a like a, a pearl kind of contrasting on there. I think I'm gonna go with the midnight blue, and then primary. Let's do a metallic frost white, and then for pearlescent, let's do. Let's see here. Taking a diamond blue pearl. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it gives it gives our frost white like a nice pearl white effect, and then it also adds that pearl to the secondary. Just looks gorgeous. Love that. And it's so nice and dark and classy. That blue, beautiful. Um, this car does offer a trim color. So for the interiors, you can see. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think a dark blue would be a little much. <laughs> a dark, dark blue interior. That's a bit excessive in here. I think that's a bit out there. So I think we'll just kind of make it match our exterior color a bit, and I think we'll do a nice white interior. Yeah, that looks really good. I think frost white, I think the ice white's a bit too bright, so we'll do frost white interior. Um, I don't want to do a tan either. I think that doesn't look right over here, so we'll do the white interior. Um, it'll look a lot better when we have the tints and stuff too. A crimblum for this car goes on the doors, okay. Suspension, I guess we'll lower it, why not. Transmission, turbo wheels now personally i love the stock wheels on this car so these wheels are not available on the 55 variant the shorter wheelbase one uh, but they are on this one and i i just 
love the way these wheels look on here. I think they're so unique looking. You know, the giant um, center portion of the wheel with the small spokes and all chrome. I think they just look fantastic. They, they, just, they suit the car so well. Um, but if you want other like Bentley-esque looking wheels, like older Bentleys, in the track category, you have some of these. So, you know, these look pretty cool too. But there's just something about these wheels I just love for this specific car. So usually I don't leave stock wheels, but in this case I am. I, I love the wheels wheels look on this thing. I don't think it's worth changing them at all. All the chrome and stuff, it just works so perfectly. Uh, windows, limo tints, yeah, definitely. On, on a car like this, like an executive car, you need you need the darkest tints possible. Um, all right, let's go ahead and take it for a drive. We got all the upgrades. It looks fantastic. Love it. Go outside here to the sun. What's left of the sun? <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. Very very nice. First person with that white interior looks sick. Very very nice. Um, floor it. A lot of wheel spin. The length of this car is insane. It's massive, massive vehicle. And the really unique thing about the Cognoscenti, um, I believe the 55 variant also does it, um, is it has like um, sound, like heavy sound deadening. So here's the sound outside the car in third person. Let me get around some cars here first. And when you go in first person, it's like half the noise. Listen to that. Almost silent. Outside first person <laughs> it's really cool I wish Rockstar would have added that to more luxury cars like some of the Rolls Royce inspired cars and stuff but um, for some reason there's not that many that have it I, I believe it's just this one in a 55 there might be one other car but um, yeah there's, there's barely any cars in the game that that have that, uh, that that feature look at the length of this thing is insane like you lose traction and you're just done for it <laughs> And then if you're driving it normally, like taking corners and stuff, it's just pure understeer. Ah! You know, people say the Hellfire is the boat, or the, uh, the new EVX Buffalo, but nope, this is <laughs> this is a definition of a boat. This thing is this huge! Like, the, this, this car is insane! Absolutely insane. Crazy. Alright, um, let's pull over and open all the doors here and stuff. so classy looking man so classy so like mid 2000s I love it um, all right vehicle doors let's first turn on the lights get some light going in here because the sun's coming down there we go go vehicle doors let's go all so first person your engine model yeah I mean this is this is to be expected from a 2015 DLC car you know copy and paste engine models in this case they use the v8 engine model okay Terrible texture quality, but again, 2015, you kind of expect that. Interior with the white. I mean, you know, it is one of the older interiors. just is what it is. Um, but with the white, it does look a bit better. And then here we go. The massive <laughs> leg room for here for the back seats. That's incredible. That is, that, that's what you, that's like an executive package. Like, it, longer wheelbase. This is mad. Look at the size of that door compared to the, it's bigger than the front doors. Mm. The rear doors are just massive. I, I love that. That's so sick. So, so sick. All right. Well, that's the regular Cognoscenti. Uh, honestly, I prefer this one over the 55 variant because, you know, it's, either way, the 55 variant is not going to be competing with, you know, in the sedans class at all. So, you might as well get the uh, the one with the crazy the crazy back seats. <laughs> you know? Might as well get the the super long wheel wheelbase one with the nicer wheels too. So per, I mean, at least in my opinion. But um, but yeah. Also, I have to mention this now in almost all these videos, even though I'm almost done with the series. Um, but yeah, this is not a car you can normally buy off the website anymore. So keep that in mind you have to acquire it through one of the other methods I made a video dedicated to that which I'll leave linked down below in the pinned comment I guess I'm gonna be doing that from now on um, but when, when you were able to buy this car from the website it was 250,000 like I mentioned before um, which was a you know a good price all things considering but obviously now you can't normally buy it anymore so anyways guys again hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one